This is All India Radio, the news read by Pradeep Kumar. The Supreme Court has set aside the Punjab and Haryana High Court order, temporarily disallowing five Janhit Congress MLAs from joining the ruling Congress government. The Apex Court has asked the Haryana Assembly Speaker to decide within three months the issue of disqualification of five Janhit Congress MLAs. In Tamil Nadu, three people involved in making firecrackers in their home were killed today in a fire accident at Vembakottai village near Shivakashi in Vidudanagar district. Our correspondent reports that the accident occurred when these persons were making firecrackers without any license. Meanwhile, the state authorities inspected 346 firecracker units in Virudhanagar district and cancelled the licenses of about 50 units for not following safety guidelines. 39 persons were killed in a fire accident in Mutalapetti firecracker factory near Shivakashi early this month. The BJP has amended its constitution allowing party chief Nitin Gadkari to get a second term. On the last day of the brainstorming meet at Suraj Kund near Delhi, the party has decided to launch a positive campaign to boost its fortunes in the next general elections. President Pranam Mukherjee has asked vice chancellors and educationists to imbibe Nobel laureate, poet and writer Rabindranath Tagore's spirit of universalism and pluralism. During an interaction with a group of intellectuals at the Srinagar Raj Bhavan last evening, after receiving a briefing on the higher education scenario in Jammu and Kashmir, the president called upon them to not just achieve high standards, but also maintain them on a sustained basis. Mr. Mukherjee said he has asked the Human Resource Development Minister, Mr. Kapil Sibbal, to convene a conference of vice chancellors of central universities so that problems affecting higher education in the country can be discussed in detail. In Nepal, 19 people have been killed in a plane crash in Kathmandu this morning. The plane, which had taken off from Kathmandu's Tribhuvan Airport at 6.15 local time, crashed after a few minutes. The plane, with 16 passengers and three crew on board, was headed towards Dukla Airport in Sulkumbu district, the gateway to Mount Everest. Eyewitnesses say the front part of the plane was on fire before the crash took place in Bhaktapur's Sumkumbasi area. According to the Civil Aviation Authority, among the 19 killed include seven British nationals, five Chinese nationals and seven Nepali nationals, including the crew. In the Kashmir Valley, the army has seized a big hall of arms near the line of control in Kiran sector in Kafara district. Defence sources said in Srinagar that the seized weapons include 98 pistols, 10 AK rifles and two machine guns. Sources said the militants were carrying these weapons from the line of control to this side. When the army challenged the militants, they fled, leaving the holds of arms there. The overall flood situation in Assam has slightly improved today. Central Water Commission reports say that Brahmaputra and its tributaries are maintaining a falling trend. Over 20 lakh people in 18 districts have been affected. 10 persons are still missing, while 19 persons have lost their lives due to floods. Assam Chief Minister Tarun Gogoi is visiting the flood-affected areas in Upper Assam to take stock of the situation. Speaking to AIR, State Home Secretary G.D. Tripathi said, a central team will visit the affected areas to assess the damage caused by the floods. Mr. Tripathi said the state has sufficient food stocks. In the ICC 2020 Cricket World Cup, India will play the Super 8 match against Australia at Colombo at 7.30pm. In another Super 8 match today, Pakistan will clash with South Africa at Colombo at 3.30pm. All India Radio will broadcast a commentary alternately in Hindi and English of the Pakistan and South Africa match at 3 p.m. and the India-Australia match at 7 p.m. It will be available on FM Gold Network. The nation is celebrating the 105th birth anniversary of the great son of the soil, Shahid Azam Bhagat Singh, today. He was born to Sardar Kishan Singh and Vidyavati Ji on this day in 1907. Many functions are being organized by various organizations across the country to remember the immortal martyr. And that's the end of this news bulletin.